Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I style my natural hair using my trusty Dyson Air Wrap. Now by natural hair, what I mean when I say that is how I style my hair when I don't have hair extensions in, because if you watch my videos, then you know that I do alternate between the two. So right now I don't have any hair extensions in. This is me all natural. Um, and if you have hair like mine, which is frizzy, curly, just never seems to stay in place no matter what you do, <laughs> then this is the video for you. So if you wanna see how I did it, then just keep watching. So my hair is freshly washed, as you can see. And what I like to do is I just like to give it a quick brush through with my tangle teaser. Now, the reason why I like using this is because when your hair's wet, that's when it's the most fragile and the most likely to get damaged. And because these have like the really nice soft bristles it just doesn't pull or snag on your hair so to wash my hair i just used my olaplex number four and five um bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner now if you watch my channel you'll know i love a little bit of olaplex and i will be using quite a few of their products in this video so yeah once i've washed and shampooed my hair i then go in with the olaplex number six bond smoother and the olaplex number seven bonding oil and these are actually oh i don't know if that's picking up these are actually my favorite products from the whole um Olaplex range well this one and the number eight I really like um, and you just take the tiniest amount I think that's even too much so just like the smallest amount of the number six and then what I do is I take a little bit of the bonding oil about five or six drops I'd say and I just rub them together and then I just apply it focusing mainly on the ends of my hair and I just love this stuff because my hair is naturally very curly, can be quite frizzy. Um, I just feel like this definitely helps like tame it and just, yeah, straighten it out and keep it nice and smooth, which is what we want. Um, and it smells really nice as well. So that's always a bonus. And then what I like to go in with is the Tresemme Heat Defense Care and Protect Spray, um, which just looks like this. And I just use this as like my final like heat protectant, I guess, because the Olaplex, Olaplex, Olaplex number six and seven both have heat protectant properties in them as well. But where I don't really put on my roots, I kind of focus the spray on my roots and then the number six and seven just on my ends because they're quite heavy. So they can make your hair feel a little bit um, greasy. So then I'm just going to section off my hair. And I'm kind of strange, I think, with the way that I <laughs> dry my hair because I kind of start with the bottom, then go to the top and then go back to the middle. It's very, I know it sounds very weird, but it works for me. So what I'm going to be going in with is my Dyson Air Wrap. Now I'm using the, I think this is called the smoothing brush because they have two types. So they have one with the pink ends. So that's like gives you a little bit of a flick. And this one's more of a stiffer brush. It just kind of makes it more poker straight, which is kind of what I want. And I've got it on the highest suction and the highest heat section. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that piece of hair and I'm just going to brush through it. And I'm just going to keep doing that until it goes basically dry and straight. And as you can see, this is a little bit dry because I just attempted to do it. And then I realized you guys wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now okay so now you can see that that is bone dry and pretty much smoothed out and nice and straight and that's like really smoothed out and straight for me because my hair is so curly and frizzy like if i let it dry naturally it just yeah it just looks like a bit electrocuted really so i'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side Okay, and then that side is also nice and dry and just very smoothed out. So now what I like to do is I take down my hair. So I just take out the front section and I'm gonna dry it in the exact same way that I dried those bottom pieces. Okay, and then what I do is I take a Velcro roller 
then I'm just going to wrap that front bit of hair around it and then I take a little hair grip and just slot that in there. So the reason why I dry the bottom part of my hair and the top part first is because I just feel like those are the parts of my hair that just go the curliest, the quickest for some reason. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, I just feel like when I dry them first, my hair just sits a lot better. And as you all know, I love having volume on this part of my hair. So by putting a roller in there, it just gives it enough time to like set. So by the time that we've finished drying the rest of our hair, that would have set and we'll have like hopefully a nice bit of volume so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to section off the rest of my hair and just dry it the exact same way that i just showed you using the dyson smoothing brush so that is what i'm going to do now Okay, so now that my hair is 98% dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that roller, which you can already see has given it quite a little bit of volume. And then I go in with the like blow dry round brush attachment. And I just take this and I go all over my hair. And the reason why is because I just feel like with the smoothing brush, I can't get like right into the root. So I can feel that it's like dry, it's almost dry, but it's still a little bit damp. And I just find that when I go over my forehead with this, it just gets right in there. So everything's like bone dry. So that is what I'm gonna do now. And I literally just like brush it backwards like that. Um, so you'll see what I mean. Okay, so that is all nice and dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my straighteners. And I know that this is like unpopular opinion when it comes to the Dyson Airwrap because I feel like the whole purpose of having the Airwrap is so that you don't have to use your straighteners. And to be fair, like if I was wearing my hair extensions, I wouldn't really need my straighteners. But I find that when I'm wearing my hair all natural like now i feel like when i go in with the dyson it doesn't matter what i do it won't set like it just doesn't stay like my hair will frizz up a little bit i don't know what it is i don't know if it's where you know like when you have the extensions in i don't know if the extra weight maybe helps keep it in place but i just find that with my natural hair i do need to go over it with the straighteners so that is what i'm going to do now and i'm not going <laughs> to i'm not going to explain to you how i do it because i feel like everyone knows how to straighten their hair Okay, so this is how my hair is looking now that I have smoothed over it with the straighteners and I haven't gone through and sectioned my hair off or done anything special. I've literally just run it through quite roughly um, because the Dyson Airwrap, it does smooth it out, but I just feel like going in with the straighteners, it just, um, what do you call it? I feel like it just sets it in place, especially for my type of hair because my hair is really curly, really frizzy, like yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'm then going to section off that top piece again and i know what you guys are probably thinking you're probably thinking jade you've already done this earlier why are you doing it again but the reason being is this is just going to give me that little bit of volume that i like and i just find that i have to do it i have to do this process like this for my hair to stay nice and smooth and non frizzy until my next hair wash day. So girls, if you're like me and you have frizzy hair, trust me, trust the process, you will not regret it. So now what I like to do is I go back in with the air wrap and I go back in with the largest barrel. Now the air wrap, it comes with two sets of barrels. Um, 
and I'm not sure of the sizes but it, I use the largest one out of the two um, and you just want to section your hair off and I'm going to show you like with it off because I feel like as soon as I put it on you can't hear what I'm saying anyway um, and then you just place it here and obviously when it's on the hair will catch on and then it almost just wrap it around and you just want to make sure that you're pulling it up and down like you're doing that motion as if you're like blow drying your hair so I will show you what I mean and I don't do neat sections or anything like that so I'm just going to switch it on and I have it on the highest suction and heat setting again And then, as you can see, it just gives it a really nice kind of flick inwards. A bit like you've kind of blow dried it, but you haven't. And then I'm going to take this back section. And I find that I can do quite big sections when I'm doing my hair like this. I don't know why, I just feel like it kind of... When I just want it to flick in, I feel like if I use really small sections, I don't know, it doesn't work as well. So I would suggest using larger sections. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> just kind of run my fingers through it and you can just have a little play around with it just so that it will go in the direction that you want it to and I'm just going to do the exact same thing on this side okay so this is how your hair should be looking with just a nice little flick going inwards it just looks like you've had a little bit of a blow dry now i'm going to take this roller out i'm just going to part it down the middle so this is how your hair should be looking you've got the nice little flicks on the end which i absolutely love because i feel like it looks like you've had a cheeky blow dry but you haven't you've just been using your dyson air wrap and i feel like the roller at the root has given you just the right amount of volume and it's also helped those bangs flick in a little bit now i didn't go over my bangs with the barrel attachment just because my bangs have just been um cut in and they're a little bit shorter than usual so they kind of naturally just flick in by themselves anyway however if you have longer bangs or longer front pieces just go through it with the barrel the exact same way as you did with the rest of your hair but honestly if you have frizzy curly hair like me then give this a go honestly you will not be disappointed i feel like when i do this i know it's a long process but it's worth it because my hair will literally stay frizz free it will more or less stay like this now until my next hair wash day. I mean, obviously I might have to top up the flicks and stuff, um, like maybe not tomorrow, but the day after, but it more or less does like stay like this, which I think is pretty good because my hair, as I said, is very frizzy and very curly. But I hope that you guys have found this useful. If you did, please do click like, subscribe, join the YouTube family, and I will see you next time.